What's going on guys? This is Matt from the Air Transplant channel here and in this video I'm gonna talk about three things that I just love about my hair transplant and I'm really grateful for. Before we start, please make sure guys that you subscribe as always. That way we both help each other, I'm helping you out and you help me broaden my audience. So thank you for that. Let's come to the first reason right now that I think is the most important reason that I love my hair transplant for and this is a lowering my hairline for example on this picture here okay we can see there is a really big for it okay big ass for it guys and the bigger the distance between your eyebrow and the start of your hairline is the older you appear to people and now so you just see that I'm not just making all that stuff up out of my head I want to show you some real-life examples so let's take a look at Jason Statham, okay? This is a British actor, he's 50 year old right now, okay? This is him, 50 year old, here 50 years old, okay? Remember this picture, guys. Now let's take a look at another guy, his name is Jamie Foxx, okay? I don't know if you know this guy, he's an American actor, look at him here. Look at the hairline, 50 year old by the way. This picture is like one year, like this This is like maximum one year old picture and the picture of Jason was like one year old maximum as well, okay? So they are both like around 50 in those pictures. And you can see that this precise hairline, his low for it makes a lot. Definitely doesn't look 50 here. Uh, Jamie probably, very, very high probably has done a hair transplant because look at his hairline uh, from like two, three years ago, how it used to look like, okay? Just look at this here, you know? See how uh, high his forehead is and his hairline starts uh, here okay this is the start of his hairline like pretty high in my opinion look at his forehead is like this high and if you take a look if we take a look at a picture of him from like one year ago that I was showing you here this his hairline is much much lower and we can see that this is much much lower hairline than uh, than it was in this picture here or in even this picture I mean look at this guys uh, I, I, I didn't believe that that was him actually because it looked like it, it's photoshopped or something but no we can see other pictures of him you can see how the hell of a difference it makes if a guy has lower hairline. If you are a bald guy right now and you just do scalp micropigmentation to kind of create this hairline, illusion of hairline, it just will it just will make you look way younger as if you would just have bald head. Even if I would have like to wear like two millimeter or three millimeter length on my whole head, I would be much happy to wear it while my hairline was uh, recreated and positioned down by hair transplant as if I would have like a bust head without hair transplant because my hair my forehead would start would have started like maybe here somewhere around here as you could could have seen in 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 the pre previous uh, footage and videos of uh, how I used to look like so this is only for people who really would like to change that and <clears throat> who really feel like this could improve their confidence a lot like it did to my confidence okay so that was the first reason guys why I really love my hair transplant reason number two is the density hair transplant did improve the density of my hair and this is a lot guys okay? Okay, it was 3,700 grafts which were planted in this area right here and comparing it to me having longer hair for example like here it used to look like that like five centimeters on the top let's compare it with a similar haircut after a hair transplant like this one here I'm having like six seven centimeters or even more look at this look at this density guys okay this is uh, I just love it. This is the density that I am having right now. Look at this. I just love that. Over 3000 grafts planted here. Some people say it's a lot, but I think really it's worth it because that way I have a thicker front and if I will keep receding further, I will plan I will have my new grafts planted in less density. I mean less dense, okay? Because the front is more dense. So this was kind of my rule. Let's 
have the front transplanted really dense so if my hair starts falling further falling out further I will have it transplanted in less dense way which won't really matter that much as long as my front is really thick the third reason why I love my hair transplant for is my donor area and how fast my donor area was able to heal throughout the first second third month after my hair transplant procedure and you know I took it for granted I thought oh for sure it's gonna heal it's FUE it doesn't leave any scars like FUT and it's not really true you know because even after FUE you can get a lot of sh not not scars, not big scars, but shock loss. You can get a lot of shock loss after after they poke the holes and disrupt your donor area with taking out the grafts, the follicular units, you know. And fortunately, as you can see here, this is 2.5 months after my FUE and look at my donor area like there there's no shock loss it just looks so clean already so this all area was the area where follicular units were extracted and, and just look at this it just looks so amazing to me and unfortunately there are many guys who are sending me pictures uh, here on WhatsApp and they're like hey man is it good you know look at my donor area and I see so many patches there a lot of shock loss even after FUE procedure I don't want to kind of like show you the pictures because I don't want to like the, it's their privacy I don't want to share these pictures here but uh, if we take a look at some pictures at the internet we can find even a lot of pictures where people unfortunately suffered shock loss on their donor area for example look at this guy here right or this it just looks so receded or look at this yeah you can see clear density here is much better and this is just so receded okay so uh, so if you take a look or this one yeah this is 5000 grafts FUE and just take a look at this donor area here yeah it just it just it just so many so many patches here you know look at this unfortunately you know so <clears throat> i was so lucky and i love that this hair transplant was so uh, generous to my donor area and unlike my front because you can see that i suffered a huge shock loss on my front as you can see for example here you know uh, uh, the front just 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 had a huge shock loss you can see but this is usually unavoidable you know many people I, I, I have seen maybe like one or two patients who really had like minimum shock loss maybe 10% on their transplanted hair and they just from the first month on after hair transplant it, the hair just kept growing and they just had already like great result after two three months it was like crazy so it is possible as well but yeah I accepted that I'm really happy that my toner area was so strong and and my donor area really looks great despite having 3700 grafts taking out of it so this is the third reason why i love my hair transplant it left my my donor area really really healthy looking and really good looking Thank you so much for watching guys, that was it. Please let me know and comment if you have done a hair transplant. What are the reasons why you love your hair transplant or maybe why you don't like it so much. I would be really, I would really appreciate those reasons and I would really like to thank you again for the attention until this very end. And if you have any other comments or suggestions on another video topics, let me know as well. I will be happy to make a video about that if it interests more people. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.